Hey guys, Nate the Otter Outdoorsman here. I'm gonna do a little video testing out the Jeff White uh, French trade knife that you guys saw that I got. Um, I did test it out on the trail, but as you'll see from my previous video, I kind of messed some of that up. So, um, I grabbed a piece of, I think this is from the hemlock trees I have in my backyard, and I'm gonna bring you guys in, and let's get going. Okay guys, so let's try this out. And I apologize for the wind in advance, we're kind of having a little storm going through in the near future, but let's give this a try. As always, I'm never gonna cut within the triangle of death, and I'm gonna make sure that I am firmly planted for knife safety. So, I forgot to bring my ferro rod out. Um, I may try and add that to the end of this video to see how it throws sparks, but this are, I can already tell this has a, a good solid 90 degree angle spine and it should throw sparks better than my Bear Grylls knife. Um, and from what I understand this is also high carbon steel, it'll strike flint, though that isn't as important to me because I generally will try and carry a flint steel to me, with me, but that's still an important, but that type of tool steel is important. I am also going to mention that this knife, uh, when I was looking at it, uh, one of my buddies, uh, believe it was uh, Brett Burns on one of the groups that I'm part of, I think it was Survivalist Base Camp, when I was discussing it on there, um, mentioned to me not to baton this, he was told not to because of how thin it is. Um, that's fine for me, I don't really want a baton a knife, that's not what I need in a knife. For something like that I'll carry a uh, axe. What is important for me is small camp tasks, carving, um, cutting meat, uh, various ta small camp tasks like that is why I'm going to carry a knife like this. If I want a bigger knife for certain trips to cut wood, I will get such a knife uh, to baton. I'll still be able to baton this on small tasks, but I don't feel the need to baton a knife if I have an axe with me. So let's see, using the back spine. This is pretty thick um, stuff. I actually pulled this out of the tree. Let's see. So that's pretty well carving off. So let's see. Let's actually get a straighter piece of this. I should probably have not worn my work pants for this, but let's see. Anything to save my blade. I will mention that on this blade I did find that it has a convex blade, it does have a convex carve. That's new to me, so I'm going to have to pick up um, a nice little rod and uh, some sandpaper and a mouse pad to sharpen this a lot better. So let's see, let's clear some of the bulk. Yeah, that's, that spine will scrape flint no problem, that is... That is clearing the bark off of there. So, striking the ferro, that is not a problem. So let's see. This is also a little bit wet, so let's see. One of the skills I do need to get better at is actually making feather sticks, which is why I'm doing it right now. Let's try it if I brace this on me. Not striking in the bad zone. And let's see if I can... Cut my shirt. Let's move you guys a little bit more. Now the reason why I'm cutting it this way is because I'm using like a draw knife, reversing it though. And that is cutting small flakes off there. My technique's a little sharp, shaky with this, 
this really isn't the best piece of wood. I wouldn't really be doing it with this. Personally, I wouldn't be doing it with this piece of wood, but this really is getting good. Actually, I don't think this is. No, this isn't even hemlock. But I think this is from. I think my oak that we have. But I'm getting good small shavings. Yeah, that doesn't have a piney smell to it. So this is a harder wood. Which is why. My oak overhangs uh, some hemlocks, so it's gonna. But it is still getting some really good. Oh, yeah. Now, this is something I could not do with my Bear Grylls knife. And I should be doing. I, I will mention I should be doing longer strokes here. So let's see. <laughs> Nevertheless, I'm getting paper thin slices. But yeah, I really don't think this is actually part of the hemlock. <sighs> Nevertheless, if this is doing this on hardwood, That's as smooth as a baby's bottom right there. This knife is really, really deserving its place on my hip. Now let's see if I can... Let's see if I can beaver chew this so I can break the stick. Let's see. Yeah, that's cutting into it, no problem. And I'll mention the reason why I'm doing this in my driveway is, uh, for one, it's easier to film. Uh, second, I often do this after, I try and do some of these videos after work, and it's harder for me to get out in the woods after work. So I can save my weekend trips for better videos for you guys. And hopefully with it warming up, because it's been, it went from being 30 degrees back down to the low teens and was becoming uh it's actually getting too cold for the birds so i'm actually going to be putting the birding basics videos a little off until i actually start hearing birds again um so you saw on the trail when i actually went out to go see if i could see any ducks and i wasn't seeing any but yeah, this is cutting into it, no problem. I mean, I'm gonna have to get... It's getting a little bit of a burr, but... Nevertheless... Let's see. Easy peasy. Yeah. So far, this knife is really making out in my book. Because it is, because, yeah, this is not the hemlocks we have in our backyard. This is, um, I think this is our oak. And you know what? It is just destroying these. And if it does this to hardwood, Imagine what it'll do to softwood. Again, that was me just planing it right there. And that is smooth. That is good. I'm really, really liking this knife. It, it's worth it. Again, it's a Jeff White uh, 
trade knife, uh, French style with the oak curly, uh, the oak curly uh, handle. But yeah, so set you guys up for the outro, and we'll see you off. Thank you guys. My name is Nate. I'm the Honor Outdoorsman. Testing out the Jeff White trade knife. Um, I thank you guys for your views, subscriptions, and likes. Don't forget to share me with your friends. Have a good day. Thank you. Shavings! Wood shavings! This is like a little brush. Really, really crappy brush. Anyways, just testing out my Jeff White French knife. Jeff White. Cut. Jeff White French knife. Good dial name. <clears throat> Thanks for watching guys. My name is Nate. I'm the Otter Outdoorsman. Just testing out my Jeff White French trade knife. This isn't a review because I haven't given it enough dirt time. I will see you guys next. That is a truck.